every season there are a handful of players that have the ability to make a big jump in production. Usually these are young players with a high ceiling just waiting to break out. A lot of things may go into this from bringing in big veteran talent and free agency to adding more young talented players in the NFL draft. The Raiders have done just that this past offseason, so I believe there are a few players on this roster waiting to take the world by surprise. Today we are looking at 5 players that are poised to have a breakout season in 2019. Don't forget to leave your video ideas down below and if I choose your idea then I'll be sure to shout you out. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification icon button so you never miss out on another video. A big shout out to Sean Kingston too for suggesting this video. PJ Hall After the success of fellow rookie Maurice Hurst, it's sometimes easy to forget that the Raiders took Hall in the second round. Hall started six games for the Raiders last season, recording four quarterback hits and three tackles for loss. As a rookie, he played 512 snaps, which should help his development in year two. He is an athletic defensive lineman who had to make a big adjustment from Sam Houston State to the NFL. We've seen time and time again that small school players like Hall usually need a year or two of getting used to in the NFL before making a significant contribution. Now that he has more talent across the defensive line, it wouldn't be a surprise to see Hall make a big leap in 2019. He's clearly talented enough to do it. Hall is already one of the better run stoppers in the league, but if he can develop any kind of pass rush ability, watch out. Arden Key if you were just to look at his 2018 stat line, you would be disappointed. He played in every single game for the Raiders as a rookie, starting only 10 games. However, the former LSU Tiger recorded just one sack all season long. That doesn't show how well he played at times. Key was in the backfield a ton and demonstrated the ability to bend the edge to create pressure. He finished the season with 20 hurries and 10 quarterback hits. If he can just finish a few more of those plays, his sacks total should rise dramatically. Heading into year two, the Raiders have done an excellent job adding talent around Key. Cleveland Farrell, Max Crosby, and Benson Mayo should help ease some of the attention Key received from blockers. Don't be surprised if Key winds up recording close to double digit sacks in 2019. Gary on Conley. In 2018, Conley was active for 15 games and had a solid year overall. Although Conley was benched early in the year for struggles in coverage, he returned to the starting lineup in the back half of the season and became the best corner in the secondary. Conley proved that he is on the rise. During his 2018 season, Conley tallied 37 combined tackles, 15 pass defense, and 3 interceptions. He also returned one pick for a touchdown against the Cleveland Browns. According to Pro Football Focus, Conley was solid overall in coverage during the 2018 campaign. He allowed a 72.8 passer rating when targeted, which ranked 14th among cornerbacks. He also allowed a completion percentage of 54 on throws in his direction. This placed him at 19th among fellow cornerbacks. These numbers may not stack up to some of the top cornerbacks in the league, but it shows that Conley is only getting better. He has all the tools to succeed in a coaching staff that is expressing confidence in him entering the second year of the John Gruden era. Conley is ready to turn the corner and become the best defensive back in the Bay Area. He just has to remain healthy and make it happen. Derek Carr Since breaking his leg, this franchise has been on a downward trend, winning only six games in 2017 and then only four more in 2018. With a newly revamped offense, the Raiders have made it known that they want to surround Carr with all the weapons needed to be successful. Having the biggest move this offseason, trading for Antonio Brown, then signing wide receiver Tyrell Williams, and getting protection up front in Trent Brown, just to name a few, a breakout season from Carr is expected. Even after throwing over 4,000 yards for the first time in his career, it didn't mean much as the team only racked up four wins in 2018. Carr has shown that he can produce at the highest of levels, and with the best weapons he's ever had, do not be surprised if Carr has the best season of his professional career in 2019. Tyrell Williams While all the big noise surrounding the Raiders wide receiver position this offseason focused on Antonio Brown, and for good reason, Oakland also added some quality talent behind him on the depth chart. Tyrell Williams brings another special set of skills to the Raiders offense. In playing with Brown and company, he could be in for his best season of his career. Williams has always been a reliable weapon for Phillip Rivers, stepping up in big moments when needed. 
In 2016, his first full season, Tyrell went off for 1,000 yards and seven touchdowns for the Chargers. The Raiders look to replicate that same success in this new offense alongside of one of, if not the best receiver in Antonio Brown. Williams is the kind of deep threat that this offense has been missing. And if he and Carr can develop that nice rapport early on, look for Williams to get a lot of opportunities downfield. Now that is all I have for you guys, Raider Nation. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think about this list. Did you guys agree with it? Did you guys not? Let me know down in the comments below. With that being said, this is your boy, Samoan Raider. And your boy is, yeah.